that is it. That is it. Okay. And um, another question uh, connected with uh, one young person who appeared uh, in FIFA World just uh, one or two years ago, but uh, he called himself as the uh, chief of uh, Egbe Egungun of Odoyama. And uh, we know that he was in Odoyama just once, but gets uh, an a cheap title in Egbe Agungun. So how it possible and uh, what reason that Ruslan Stajic from Moldova gets the chief title in Egbe Agungun or Dremo? How it was possible? I'm not sure of that and I don't believe that. And according to the headers mm -hmm. of Egbe Agungun, because um, from the finding is I was they are, they are making me to understand that it's not, they are not the one that make him the chief. And as I've said before, you know, hungry and greedy making our people to do what they are not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know. So once they are say uh Ruslan Starish saying getting a Initiation into Igungo, getting shift tied to tied to, that's that's absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know why someone is going to do that without the permission of headers. Haraba is part of them. So what about the headers of Igungo? Where are they? Are they hey, present? Are they you know, Are they informed? <laughs> or are they the one that give him the permission? To call himself the shifter in the Google, or are they the one that give him the shifter to or give him the initiation? That is it. That is it. And uh, of course, Ruslan Staj called himself uh, in all internet sources that he writing as Babalawa. Is it uh, true that uh, Ruslan Staj have a legitimate deaf initiation and can be called as Babalawa? No, because when he comes, when he came for his tefa, at that time, the woman was present in his ibudu. I you know the Ramo tradition, or in Ifa tradition also, is very, you know, uh, unaccepted for a woman, or it's very difficult. It's not allowed for a woman to enter a bodu. So during his own is happen. So and also there is no one who can get tefa if they did the tefa without their share, the permission from Araba, then the tefa is not done. Yes. So his tefa was not permitted by Araba this way we are there. So and more so a woman again. So that's that's another you know another thing which make it a totally wrong thing. If someone who initiated also with women, can he call himself a babalao while it's forbidden for a woman to enter a body? And someone who says he's making a tefa without the permission from a rabba. No. Because in one of our Viva verses that says, Araba Luno mi watewe, babae mi Araba. It's Araba that sent me to initiate you. So who sent them? Yes, yes, of course. And uh, this person uh, called himself as uh, Araba Moldova and uh, said that uh, his elders uh, give him permission to call himself <coughs> as Araba Moldova. So, uh, is it true that uh, Ruslan Stavich from Moldova have permission from elders to call himself as Araba Moldova? Absolutely no. Because uh, I was wondering who gave him the permission of that. Is it the Egbe Awo or Egbe Fai, not the Remo, that give him the Araba or who? Someone who gets Tefa without the permission of Araba, mm -hmm. then who is going to give him the permission to make him Araba? 
So who is going to make him the Araba of Moldova? So all those things is just absolutely no is to fraud people. It's not good. According to the Pharaoh, when it's forbidden. Because if I says should it talk, should do do any should it only man and be faithful, truthful, because if you do so, you will see all the room are supporting you. So if you think so because of what you want to eat or because of oh you are thinking about oh, your family or to your family to survive, that is nothing. Okay, and uh, my last question to you, Baba, is uh, connected to this uh, situation which appeared just a year ago. Uh, it's connected with uh, some priests of uh, of, uh, of Cuban tradition like uh, Santera Lukumi or Ifa Ocha, who said their critical opinion to experience of uh, Aluvo Fofemi Fatalabi and another priest of African traditional uh, religion as Isheshi is. So, uh, is it able for followers of Cuban Ipaocha and Santeria Lukumi to tell anything about uh, traditional African Isheshak by Ipa Ocha? Well, uh, Lukumi, Lukuyu is different from Ifa tradition. Santeria, Opalu, or whatever. That is foreign. But when we are talking about the real tradition is Ifa Orisha, which is in our Yoruba land. So I was wondering and confused why either Kubanyo or whatever people would be saying the wrong things or saying bad about the Ifa and Orisha tradition. No. And they are not going to say they are the best. Because the Ifa and Orisha tradition in Yoruba was the first foundation. And from the history, says during the slavery period, the slave that takes some of our people over there, you know, change their tongues, change their something, but the tradition, there is something is still with them. So the things they have the power. They now move closer to them. So you have the power, where is the power you are using? Can you teach us? So that is how they take a little something they still remember from them then at that time and turn into their own system. This is it. So that's that is how that goes. So they don't have any gods to be saying, to be talking against Ifa and Urisha tradition in Africa. And they have permission to say something against priests of traditional Ifa and Urisha? No, they, they don't have the permission to say anything against, <laughs> against the priests of Ifa and Urisha tradition of Africa. Okay, Baba. I want to say thank you for your interview. For sure. Certain interview and uh, thank all uh, my elders first of all Patalabi Adesanya Shudare and uh, Padayo Adesanya who supported me sure. in my study of uh, Ifa tradition and who helped me to get to Odoremo. Sure.